Libra, hello there, my beautiful friends. We're going to do your general tarot reading for late November 2023. Thank you so much for joining me today. You know I appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right down to business, as always, and start you off with an oracle card here, just so we could dip our toes into energy and see what's happening for the lovely Libras. Hope you're all doing fabulous and fantastic, my friends. Let's get it going here. My guides, talk to me. What's up with the Libras in late November? As we are moving into Sagittarius season, the, the calendar keeps moving, right? Let's see what's going on. Yeah, we're just going to take a real quick look at this first card. Then we'll get into the full reading itself. At the very end, I'll pull you a bonus card from the Shadowland Tarot. Just to see what might be in the shadows or what shadow work you can lean in on, which is always interesting. Let's get it going here. Let's rock and see what we got for the lovely Libras. Please and thank you, my guides going on and it's been a few interesting readings the past few weeks so i really am excited to see what we have for you now okay yeah this is fun this is a fun card either whether it's you needing to have fun break loose lighten up that's a big thing with this card okay maybe some of you are having a little too much fun it all depends but i like this card and if you just look at the imagery of it, it just feels like fun to me but yeah before we go too far into it if you're new here, I'll be speaking about the November subscriber surprise towards the end, so you might want to check that out. Also, if you could kindly illuminate that like button by tapping it right on its third eye, you know I'd greatly appreciate it. But enough of the promo, into the reading, let's talk about this card. So when you look at the imagery, there's a lot of toys here, right? You see like this unicorn or this pony, there's a snow globe, there's dolls and toys all over the place. And this is a very fun card to me, and it shows up for a few particular reasons for the collective. And I already mentioned them in light detail. One, for a lot of Libras, maybe you've been going through some serious times, right? You might have been going through a lot of serious things or just a lot on your plate. Maybe you're like in a very tight structure for whatever reason, and you might need to cut loose. Now, I always say, if you need to have fun, if you need to break loose, everyone has fun in different ways, whether it's going shopping or going on a trip or some people have fun inside the house, right? Like watching movies, like you might need to really take an edge off of some serious energy when this card shows up, lighten something up. Okay, so that's a huge thing when this card is here. Like, you, you need to lighten the load, the emotional or energetic load when this is here. Now, I did say it also swings the other way. This card could come out when someone's partying it up a little too much. When there might be someone that's, like, living it up a little too much, they might need to tighten that energy up. Life is all about balance, but I don't have to tell you that, right, Libra? Let's get into tarot. And I always say that first card, it doesn't make or break the reading. It's just a little footnote. So let's see what we have for you this week. Shuffle it up one time, my guides. And while we get the deck ready, let's talk about last week's reading. And it kind of makes sense with what I'm seeing here right now. Last week's reading was titled, They Are Nervous. And I was picking up a heavy anxiety or anxious energy in last week's reading. So I really hope you haven't been going through any tough situations or tough times. But it was all over the place. Whether you or someone you're connected to, there was like a very much high, strong type of energy. So we're going to hope that lightens up. Okay, and which would make sense, like with what we've been seeing already. But as you know, energies are very fluid. They're never set in stone. So only take this reading how it hits for you, right? Because we could be seeing your vibe or someone you're linked to. Let's get these first three cards out for Libra. Let's start building this story. What do we have for my friends in late November? King of Wands energy. Okay, interesting way to start. Fire sign vibes to lead us off just going to put them there for for the time being let's keep it going what do we got for libra focus of energy that could be a person all really depends king of pentacles here lots of kings lots of kings here my friends we'll have to talk about this libra now these can be good it all really depends let's get one more but fire pentacle and, and uh earth energy it could sometimes be conflicting okay Power. We got a lot of powerful energy here. You're going to have a bonus as well, Libra. We have the Magician. We also have the Death card. Now, I'm already seeing the theme here, Libra. I'm already picking one up, and let, let's go through. I'll give you some of the classical meanings and archetypes, then we'll get into the juicy, intuitive stuff. So at first look, first glance, I'm seeing a variety of different elements here. So this could be different areas of life, different things. It all really depends. But the fact that we have double kings, which could represent people, but kings 
are about control. I say that every time. The kings in their suit are the controllers of their respective suit. So when we have the king of wands, the king of pentacles, this is more about passion, this is more about practicality. The magician is also a card of control. So every one of the main spread things has some aspect of control to it. Death card on the back end, Scorpio energy. So let's go through one by one and really start to build this out. Because once again, these could be people or it could just be certain situations. Now, position number one, we do have the king of wands, fire sign energy. So Aries, Leo, Sag. If you're not connected to a fire sign, the king of wands is all about directing your passions, right? Like what you put your energy towards, what you put your focus towards. Are you putting it towards the right things? Are you not? This is big boss type of energy, very similar to the emperor in that vein. This card is, yes, fire can be combustible. So this card can sometimes be spontaneous. There could be certain things that are surprising or unexpected. Like you don't normally see that with the King of Wands, but it really depends on what the clarifier is. And with all this powerful energy we have on the back end, there might be a curveball here when we have King of Wands energy. Not saying it's good, bad, or indifferent. Now, this could also represent an individual, because remember, all cards have positives and negatives. A challenge with the King of Wands is that it could be somebody that is extremely unpredictable or someone that's a live wire. You don't know how they're going to react to certain things. In the center, we have the King of Pentacles. This is a much more grounded type of energy. Now, when I see the King of Pentacles, straight up, it could just represent work. It could represent money issues. It could represent material security. So for a lot of Libras, you could be hyper-focused on the monetary or anything material when this card shows up. It could be an earth sign that you're linked to. So think Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. And when I see this card, I think it's very much grounded and abundant. Now, it is in control of finance. So for a lot of Libras in this time, if that's not something you're doing, maybe you are putting energy into it, controlling the finances, budgeting, making plans, stuff like that is a big thing with the King of Pentacles, but it's super abundant. Now, it could also be a little stubborn because remember, this King has some challenges. The King of Pentacles could also be very stubborn. And in its reverse form, the King of Pentacles could once again be very unpredictable or even a little unhinged when it's in its reverse. So we really want to clarify these when we move further. On the back end, we have the Magician all about manifesting, all about creating. So maybe these are things that you are actively creating in your life, some stability, some focus, some drive. What do I do? Where do I go? What is my path? You could be manifesting those things. I always say when the magician shows up in the spread, your powers of manifestation could be through the roof. So you're gonna to wanna to really lean into that. You could be seeing signs and synchronicities when the magician is here. It's very spiritual. So maybe you're putting energy into spirituality or spiritualism. That's a thing. But another aspect of this magician, aside from ritual and spirituality, is this is a card of somebody trying to control their own fate. So you see what I mean? We have control, control, control. And when we had this in the front end with like having fun, I feel like a lot of Libras in this time, you might feel like your back's against the wall in some sort of way or either you need more control or your back's against the wall. That's just the vibe I'm picking up here already. Now, moving to the back end, and we're really going to need to clarify all this. We have the death card. Very powerful, nothing to be afraid of. I believe this showed up for you last week as well. We could be seeing karmic archetypes and karmic themes. So these will really tell us the deal. Even the magician's a little karmic as well. So we do have karmic archetypes here. Scorpio energy, and we're moving out of Scorpio season. So if you're not linked to the Scorpio, this card is more about revitalizing or when something ends, a phoenix rising from the ashes, remaking yourself. When, so this is cycle based and there's a lot of control here as well. And there's just so much power, Libra, and I really want to dive deeper. Let's jump in and clarify. All right, let's get a good shuffle here for the Libras, please. Let's see what's happening for my friends. This is such a concise theme this week. And yes, this is where I go intuitive with the message, which means I just tell you how it feels to me. So feel free to do further research or rely on your base knowledge of tarot. Because as you know, every single reading is about the reader's interpretation. And I'm just giving you mine. Let's go in on that King of Wands. And yes, if you're a reader yourself, please feel free to play along. That's why the box is here. If you're feeling any messages you want to give to Libra, you could drop it in the comments. I don't mind at all. All right, King of Wands time. What's happening here? This could be a big action card as well. Okay, that card popped out real quick. Okay, yeah, 
there is some sort of big action being planned or one that will be taken from someone, okay? Lots of people here. So for a lot of you, I don't know if this is a lot of people in your energy or just a lot of things affecting your energy, but we have the Knight of Swords clarifying this King of Wands, right? Like somebody's ready to do something. Somebody's ready to pound. Somebody's ready to take some action and make something happen. That's the vibe I'm picking up here. Now, yes, this is a card that could represent you. So we already see that link with the fire and air. Remember, when you combine the fire and air, it's explosive. It's starting with a boom. So maybe someone is planning an explosive action or to do something. It's like, all right, let's get a move on. Let's get this going. There's a lot of motivation here, okay? Whether that's your energy or somebody else's, it's someone who's like, yeah, let's just get this show on the road, okay? It's like the opposite of what I'm picking up here with the King of Pentacles. Now, I will say this, and I don't want to lean into this too much just yet because the Knight of Swords can be combative sometimes. And when we mix the fire and the air, there might be somebody that's a little on edge that you're connected to or somebody that's like, oh, I don't know how they're going to react or I'm not sure. Like there's an unpredictability here that I've been feeling since the very beginning and it's still here. And we'll see if that shows up throughout. But like I said, explosive action or somebody ready to get a move on here, whether you, that's you or somebody else. Like, let's make this happen. Let's go. So we're going to keep going. It is what it is. All right, that was, that's an interesting one. We're starting with a bang here and we'll see how it all plays out. So let's go in on that King of Pentacles because that might be a more reserved type of energy. This could be somebody trying to like keep that suppressed, like their urge to want to do something, their urge for action. They could be trying to suppress it, but it's so powerful. It's like, nah, they're going to do something. So let's see what's up with that King of Pentacles. Somebody is on the move. Okay. Yeah, we have the Ace of Wands in the upright. This is appealing. So there might be a situation or something that comes around in the coming days and weeks where it's like, all right, you know what? That's appealing. Like, I, yeah, no, I, I see why. Like, it's giving me that interesting vibe. The Ace of Wands can represent opportunity. So for a lot of you, yeah, it's attractive as well. Like, remember, the Ace of Wands could represent the libido. So when I see it underneath the King of Pentacles, for some of you, maybe it's a work thing, right? Maybe you're finding a better job or something that's appealing to you. But whatever this energy is proposing or whatever this action is in the front, it's like, all right, well, I'm going to temper my expectations. And this energy isn't so fast to move. This energy is a little cautious in the center, but it's like, yeah, but no, that's appealing though. I get it. So maybe not as much gusto as what we have here in the front. Take it however it hits, but it's two people, all right, or maybe even more. But here in the center, it's like this one is filled with the gusto. Let's do, let's make action. Let's do this. Let's get this plan going. And this one's like, yeah, maybe eventually, or maybe, yeah, there's, it's appealing. I get it. I want to do that too, but let's just slow it down. Okay. So it's like two different approaches to the same thing. Okay. <laughs> just take it if it hits, Libra. Maybe that's how you're weighing something in your head as well. Everyone says Libras could be very diplomatic and they try to see all sides of a situation. Maybe you're trying to look from all different sides. All right, well, what if we take the fast approach? What if we take the slow and steady approach? It's like considering. There's a lot of consideration here. Let's move over to the Magician. I feel like I'm getting hung up here, right? Let's see why that Magician is there. There's something that's appealing here, though. Where it's like, yeah, no. Yeah, I could work with that. So let's see what's happening with that magician. Then we'll do our recap before we get into the shadow card. All right, the queen of swords almost popped out and I didn't even start shuffling. So let's see what's happening. There's that magician here. Thank you. Okay, 10 of wands. You, you might want to improve something or try to make it a little bit easier. Like, is there a better way? Like, there's got to be a better way, or is there a better way that this can be managed? To me, it's not the energy of somebody giving up on something. It's like, yeah, no, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep pushing. It is what it is. It might not be easy. It might be tough, but there's got to be a better way, right? Like, that's that's just the vibe I'm picking up here. Now, notice half of the spread is fire now, and now it makes sense. When we had so much control or trying to control something, now there's fire, there's air, there's this explosive energy all over the place. Now, the Ten of Wands, let's talk about this card a little bit. It can be burdensome. I do always say watch out for your physical health in this time. Watch your energy. A lot of you, you might be trying to manifest better health and well-being in this time. You could really improve your health or recover from something when this shows up on the back end. I, that intuitively feels like a good message. But the first message I was saying, like, there's got to be a better way or, okay, 
I'm going to keep pushing. Yeah, this might be heavy. These 10 wands might be a little difficult, but there's got to be a better way or a way to make this happen or work. That's just the vibe. And it feels very diplomatic throughout the whole entire reading as well. It's like somebody really trying their best to work with difficult energies. Okay. But let's go through and do a quick recap because I feel like I can keep talking about this spread. So let's go through, then we'll do the the shadow card, okay? So if you kindly look here in the box, like I said, there's control all over the top. There's a lot of fire. There's air sprinkled in that's making it kaboom. But position number one, we have the Knight of the King of Wands, pardon me, with the Knight of Swords. Someone's ready to make something happen. Someone's, someone's ready to do something. Like, yeah, let's go. Let's get this show on the road. Let's go, 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 go. And it's like super, super amped up to make something happen. So like I said, explosive action or somebody's ready to just get something moving, right? And it feels almost rushed. Okay, like it doesn't, it's hard to decipher, but moving to the center, we have the opposite take because we have the King of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. Something's appealing or something might come along where you find it appealing or the option of it or the thought of it might be appealing, but it's taking a different approach. It's like, okay, well, yeah, it's appealing, but slow it down. Okay, like so one foot after another, it's like giving me that vibe. So maybe you're trying to see things from different ways or trying to find a middle ground with this energy, especially with the explosive action. On the back end, we have the magician with the 10 of wands. Now is a good time for physical health and recovery. But a big thing I saw back here is like, all right, there has to be a better way or optimization. So for a lot of Libras in this time, you might be trying to optimize situations or you might be trying to optimize various different things to make them run smoother that's a big vibe there's no giving up though so please take a screenshot interesting spread lots of action in the front or the want for it let's see what's happening here in the shadows for libra and yes i always like to pull a shadow card at the very end i feel like it's a nice thing to do just to see what's up and yeah whether it's something within you whether it's something you don't quite see it doesn't have to be a challenge it could be a good thing sometimes so let's see what's in the shadows for Libra. Oh, and yes, if you've made it to this point in the reading, please feel free to check out channel memberships. I'll leave a link for it down in the comments below. There's a lot. Of, there's a few different uh, options for support down there. Obviously, no pressure whatsoever, but it's a beautiful way to support the channel. So let's get you your shadow card. No pressure, right? What's happening? What's happening with Libra? Thank you. The sun, good. So something could turn out well in the end, right? If the, Especially if this whole reading was resonating for you. The sun card is the most positive card in the whole entire deck. So when this comes up in the shadows, yes, it could speak about things being revealed or having revelations within oneself. But to me, this just tells me a dark time might be ending for a lot of Libras. And that is an energy that can be claimed and should be claimed. Now, for a portion of you, the sun card could represent a Leo in your life. Okay, there might be issues from the past that come bubbling up if you've been linked to a Leo. But if not, now could be a big time of realization of what it is that you do want, directions that you do want to go towards. And once again, the most positive card, I see a very good result for a large portion of Libras in this time. Whatever situations, things you're going through, the future is bright. That's what that tells me. So Libra, beautiful ending. I would claim that. Um, yeah, that's what I have for you this week. Don't click away just yet, though. I'm going to give you the details of the November subscriber surprise. If you got your name in for the October subscriber surprise, the winners will be in the community tab after this week's fire and air readings. But for November, we're bringing back winner's choice. Two lucky subscribers will get to pick a deck of their choosing up to 40 US dollars. So if you'd like to get your name in for that, it's two simple things. As always, my friends, first, you must be subscribed. And second, let me know down in the comments. Out of all the zodiac signs, which one do you think is the most fun? Which one do you have the most fun with? And yeah, after that, you'll be entered to win. And at the end of November, I'll pick the winners at random as usual. My friends, much love, and I'll see you soon.